A-level chemistry quick test video on organic synthesis. So here's the first one. Suggest a synthetic route for this conversion. We want to make propanol from one chloropropin. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So our starting molecule is one chloropropane. That's obviously a halogen or alkane. So we need to go from that to propanol, which is an aldehyde. So we can't do that directly. So what we need to do is convert this into propanol. And then we can convert the propanol into the propanol. So we'll call this step one and we'll call this step two. So step one, we need to take the one chloropropane and we'd need to react that with sodium hydroxide, aqueous, and heat it. And that would generate the alcohol and it would also make a sodium chloride. So once we've made the alcohol, we need to oxidize it but we don't want it to go all the way to the carboxylic acid, so we would distill it, and that would generate the aldehyde and a water molecule. So we need to specify the chemicals used to make the oxidizing agent. So we'll just mention that there. So the oxidizing agent is potassium dichromate 6. And remember, it needs to be acidified, so we need sulfuric acid as well. So here's the second one. Suggest a synthetic route for this conversion. Butanone from but to ene. So again, if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answer. Okay, so just as before, we can't do this in one step, so we're going to have to go via an intermediate, and the intermediate in this case is going to be butan 2 all and then we can convert the butan 2 all into the butanone. So stepwise, we've got step one and step two. So step one, we need to generate the alcohol from the alkene, so we react it with steam. So that's H2O gaseous. Some conditions, obviously to generate steam, the temperature needs to be above 100 degrees C. And we also need a strong acid catalyst so you could either go for H3PO4 or sulfuric acid. So I've gone for H3PO4 there. So basically what's going to happen, the water's going to add across the double bond. So let's say the OH group's going to go there, the H goes there. It could add the other way around, but in the case of butene, it would still generate uh, what the alcohol that we want, butene 2 all. So that's going to generate one product addition reaction, butene 2 all. And then step two, we take that butane 2 all that we've made and we oxidize it to the product we want, butanone, and we also make a water molecule. So we'd need to heat that, so typically that will be done under reflux. Distillation would work, but reflux is better because it ensures that all of the uh, reactants get reacted. And just as before, we'll mention the oxidizing agent, so it's potassium dichromate 6, and acidified with uh, sulfuric acid.